What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Sunsees? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving. To everyone who celebrates it, I hope you guys had a magnificent time with family and friends. If you weren't around family and friends, I hope you made the best of it. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. If you haven't already, hit that bell button. Hit that bell button at the bottom. Become a sunseed. You guys are more than welcome to join the family over here. Okay. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys, sunseeds. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. My nose is already itching. Okay. Holy Spirit. Divine. My ancestors of the highest white light. My holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I go to the highest white light. Anything other than the highest white light, please close that door. Thank you. What's up, Sunsee? Y'all probably like nothing, girl. Get into this reading. <laughs> so we have religion factors that want to come out. So you maybe you and this person can have different religions or believe in different things. Let's put some cards. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Put some cards. Holy Spirit. Okay. So we have worth waiting for. So Spirit is saying that this love is worth waiting for. I feel like you guys could be in a separation right now. Spirit said, your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you guys could be in a separation right now. Something could have had happened. Um... I feel like um, you guys could have two different type of beliefs. It could be some type of family, friends um, that's in your person's ear. I do feel like somebody want to reach out to you. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing rejected, rejection. Maybe somebody feeling like if they reach out to you, they feel like you will reject them. But Spirit is saying that this love is worth waiting for. This is your soulmate. Spirit, anything else? past life relationships so this is a past life relationship somebody that you already know from the past spirit is saying give your love life a chance you deserve love anything else spirit so this is a past life relationship stay optimistic that's a lot of cards keep an open mind so this is a past life relationship someone who has a lot of deep feelings for you a lot of deep emotions for you You guys could be in separation right now, but Spirit saying that this um this love is worth waiting for. Spirit said trust and passion. So there's a lot of um passion here. I feel like between both of you guys, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of love. But somebody is gonna need to trust the situation. Okay. Um again we have religious factors. So I feel like the religious factors plays a major part. I feel like you and this person, I wanna take all these cards. Um, I feel like you in this person, because it's everything, just like an overall message. I feel like this love is worth waiting for, Spirit is saying. This is your soulmate. This is a past life relationship, Spirit is saying. Okay? Um, Spirit is also saying there's a lot of passion between you guys. There's so much passion that neither one of you guys can ignore. Spirit is saying this situation is going to be, it's going to call for some type of trust. Religious factors. I feel like with the religion factors, you guys have two different type of beliefs. And that could be standing in the way of this connection. But I feel like um, somebody can't deny how they feel about you inside. Like, it's so much passion. It's so much passion. But I feel like you guys have two different beliefs. And maybe that's what's standing in the middle of this connection from coming um, together. Because I feel like with the religious factors... Whoever this person is, I feel like they're still fighting the, um, okay. I feel like this person is still fighting the old to become the new. Um, Spirit saying this person is worth waiting for. 
they I feel like this person is working on themselves at the moment. I feel like the um, passion is becoming too much to where this person literally can't take it no more. Somebody is learning to trust their intuition and go within. Even if they have to stand alone, they doing it. I feel like, um, Sunsees, you guys are already walking in your purpose. Um, standing up for what you believe in. How you feel. I feel like by you doing that, um, you help making this person go after, you know, come for you. This person is standing up for what they believe in now. Spirit, what's this worth waiting for? Worth waiting for? Worth waiting for? Spirit, what's this worth waiting for? So we have the chariot and the knight of pentacles. Um, I feel like, again, um, I feel like this person, uh, you see all this armor that this person has on them? Like, if you see the vest, the jacket, the gloves, like, do you need all that extra armor? Like, like I feel like this person is was, you know, guarded. Very guarded. And I feel like the reason why this person was guarded, Sunsees, is because of um, religious factors. I feel like you guys believe in two different things. And maybe this person wanted, um, cared about how they was going to be perceived to their family or to the community um, by being with someone um, that was different from the upbringing. But the passion and the love that this person feels for you, it's like it's undeniable. And this person wants to come and bring you this love offer. That's why we got Knight of Pentacles is worth waiting for. This person could have been slow to give you this love offer. It's because this person was guarded with all this armor on. And like even the gloves. Like do you need gloves too? Like <laughs> this person was very guarded, you know. But Spare said this, this love is worth waiting for because this person loves you. And again, like I said I feel like I heard spirit in my ear say somebody is fighting the old to become the new. So this person is trying to work on themselves to come towards you. And we have the chariot. So with the chariot, um, it could be dealing with an earth sign or a cancer. Or they could just have this in their chart. This chariot is somebody that's coming towards you. You see how we got both of these on the bottom? I feel like this is the yin and the yang. Like... This is the yin and this is the yang. I feel like you balance this person out. Like, this person feels like there's nobody like you. You balance this person out. This person has a lot of passion for you. Yeah, does somebody want to come and bring you some type of love offer? They want to close out old cycles. They see a victory and success with you. Spirit, what's the soulmate? Spirit, what's the soulmate? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the strength card. So I see someone gaining up the strength and the courage to fight for this. That's why I said I, I'm hearing this person is fighting the old to become the new. So this person is gaining up the strength to fight through whatever they need to fight to to get to to get to you. Six of Pentacles. I feel like somebody want to come in and give you equal give and take. And we have the death card. So, so somebody is ending something, and that could be. You know, whatever old mindset and old beliefs that they had, as far as the religious factors that were standing in the way, somebody is putting a depth to that because somebody is like, you know, you know, it's about to be 2020, 2022. You know, nobody is not with this old, outdated beliefs anymore. And this person is like, with this shrimp card, it's like, it's going to take a lot for this person to come to you, but this person is willing to do that. Because this person, the Six of Pentacles, this person wants to give you equal give and take. This person could have a lot of people in their ear. Or it could just be this person just in their head. Thinking about how people are going to perceive this connection if you guys come together. But I feel like this person doesn't care anymore. Because the way how they feel for you, it's like it's undeniable. Like this person loves you. The way how they feel about you, is just, they can't explain it. And if they try explaining it to these people that's so strict on um, religious beliefs, they will never get it because it's bigger than that. It's something that this is how you guys feel about each other. Like it's it's so strong. I feel like when this person sees you, they smile. Okay, I don't. This is very um, significant for probably one or two of you guys. You know your story. Somebody likes the way you pop out your lips. 
or um I don't know if I'm saying it right. You could have like sleepy eyes or like like very like your eyes could be like it could be a lot of sex appeal or passion like passion in your eyes. Somebody likes that. Yeah, it's a lot of secrets. Because with this family, five of wands and a moon card, it's a lot of it's a lot of hidden truth. And I feel like with the five of wands, this is somebody's family and friends that they would have to fight off to get to you to you. Whoever this person is, also Spirit is saying, this person could be trying to get away from them and not tell them where they're going. This person could be doing things in secret with the moon card in secret because they know that there's a lot of people that's against this connection. We had the three of cups. Somebody want to reconcile with you. We have the two of wands. Somebody is willing to make a choice. We have the devil card and the lovers. Somebody is very obsessed with you. This person could be watching you a lot. But somebody can't let this go. It's like the passion and the love. Is, it's just like it's too strong for this person. It's too strong. Like the way how this person feels, it's like it's becoming, yeah, it's becoming a burden. It's in a wand. It's becoming a burden for this person not to be with you. Spirit, what's this past life relationship? What's this past life relationship? Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Pentacles. This person could have been married. Um, this person could have been married to somebody else. Um, in the past. And I, this person could be trying to get like a separation. This person could be dealing with some type of legal issues, court matters. Somebody is trying to break free from somebody to get to you, Sunseeds. Spirit, what's this past life, Queen of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what's this past life, Queen of Pentacles? They could have been married before. Yeah, I can't make it up. We have the Fool card and Ace of Wands. I can't make it up. Somebody want to take a leap of faith. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is all about new beginnings. The Fool card is somebody taking a leap of faith on something new. I cannot make it up. Somebody was married to somebody before in the past. And... I just feel like this person just, this person doesn't do it for this person. They just don't. This person is is, is taking a leap of faith and coming towards you because they want a new beginning. It's like the passion that this person feels about you. It's like it's too strong. And this person is like, I'm getting somebody trying to fight it off. Like, like I'm getting somebody trying to fight it off. Maybe this person probably was trying to um, block you out. Or trying to deny this love because you guys had two different. I know it's a bitch. Mm. Okay, spirit. Somebody could have been trying to um, block this connection out. Somebody could have been trying to um, not believe that this connection was real because of you guys had two different beliefs. So they could have um, blocked you out and tried to start something new with somebody else with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Pentacles could be somebody that they with now or somebody that they were married to in the past. Um, but we do see the Fool card and the um, Ace of Wands. Somebody want to take a leap of faith on you and start something new. But they could have um, tried to go elsewhere because they didn't want to believe that the connection between you and them was real because you guys had two different type of beliefs. And they was worried about how they was going to be perceived um, to other people. But they can't deny it anymore. It's like somebody that can't deny it anymore. They don't care. And that's why we had the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was like, you know, that's Knight of Pentacles. This person got all this armor on, even gloves on. Like, this person was guarded towards this connection because this person didn't want to believe that it was true. But with the chariot, this is somebody that's coming towards you. Somebody, they can't. They can't. This is somebody that's like, chariot is somebody that's moving. Somebody moving. They can't take it no more because it's too. The, the love for you is too strong. The passion for you is too strong. Spirit, what's this passion card? Yeah, somebody feel left out in the cold. Spirit, what's this? Somebody also felt like, you know, if they reach out or come towards you, they feel like they, you're going to reject them. Spirit, what's this passion card? Spirit, what's this passion card? Thank you, Spirit. I can't make it up. 
I can't make it up. We got the Six of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Okay? We see past life relationships and Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past that wants to come back and reconcile with you. Whoever this emperor is to you. Okay? This emperor wants to come in and make a move. This emperor loves you. And what did I say? The high priestess? The high priestess? Um... Who knows? You, um, some seeds, you guys could be very intuitive. You guys could be a psychic, you know? I don't know. And this could be very different from this person's beliefs. And they probably felt like, if I, you know, if, how will my family view me? How will my family see me, you know, loving someone like this? But it's okay. Because I'm sure this empress is very free spirit. I'm sure this empress already stepped in her power. I also get with the high priestess. You know, the high priestess, she, she holds secrets. She knows all the secrets. And what did I say? I feel like with whoever this emperor is, this person moving in, in silent. Because we've seen the moon card and the five of wands. The moon card is about secrets. Five of wands is a lot of drama, conflict, chokeholds, all of that. And I feel like somebody is moving in secret and silent because they feel like if they tell these people who so strict on this religious, religious factors... They're going to try to stop this person or they're going to try to get in the way. The love is so strong. It's so real. And what does the person downstairs, we know what we call him, the devil. He will always try to stop a connection like this because this, 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 people don't get this like this. I'm feeling like this is something with this passion and this trust and this word waiting for. This is something that's very intense, very strong, very strong. This is how this person sees you as a son. Somebody very... You know, you make this person happy. I'm getting like that Queen of Cups, very nurturing, very loving, very intuitive, you know, very happy. Always make this person feels good. This person knows how they feel about you. It's just that they feel like the people that's around them, they so strict on religious factors is that they're going to perceive them a certain way. But when this person sees you, this person sees you as a son. It's like you light them up. Like they smile. Your person could be somebody that don't even smile like that, that much. But when they see you, they smile. Yeah, the high friend. The high friend is all about somebody that's religious. You know about old religious factors and religious beefs. Um, I, wow, thank you, Spirit. Spirit said religious beefs. Beefs. I was going to say religious beefs. Spirit said religious beefs. So... What I'm saying, what religious factors, spirit is saying, it's some beef about religious, like religious factors. Like, it's some beef about this. People going back and forth about your connection because of you guys believe in two different things. So, there's a lot of beef about this connection because you guys have two different perspectives of how y'all view life. Maybe this person grew up very traditional, you know? And they could find it and went to other people about this connection, but they went to the wrong people. Because these people that they went to, they could never get it, understand or, 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 or can get a connection like this. It's not for them. I feel like this was something from the divine. Especially with the emperor being here. But the high friend, that is somebody, yeah, look. Four pinnacles. That was somebody that was holding on tight to old, outdated beliefs. Things that don't serve them anymore. It's about to be 2022. It's a lot of people that's waking up to, you know, you know, spirituality and different beliefs and stuff like that. We are all God, God, and I mean, God and goddesses. Even though, you know, I believe in, um, you know, I believe in, I worship God. You know, that's, that's my, uh, my Lord and Savior. And that's who I believe in. I also understand that, um, I'm a goddess and I understand the power that I have within me, you know? And that's what you that's that's what a goddess is, you know. It's just knowing that the knowing that the power that you have within you. People want you to be slaves to, to you know, old traditional beliefs and mindsets. You know, it, it just doesn't work for certain people anymore. And once a person tap in, tap, tap, tap in, like, it's like, how can you awaken a person to the power that they have within them and who they are? I'm talking about who they are within thyself. It's like how can you go how, how can you go back to sleep? There's no going back to sleep. A person is wide awoke now and you want to put them out to go to sleep. There's no sleep for them. Only way how a person that's awakening could go to sleep if you take them out. 
they got to literally die. And that still don't even matter because their spirit gonna still lives on. Because usually, you know, people that's awoke, they're not humans. They are spiritual beings having human experiences. And a lot of people want to keep them asleep. Because if they keep them to sleep, they can control them. But you, a lot of people that awaken up, awaken, and have and that's in the process of, of awakening. You know, they, a lot of them have everything that they could possibly think of because they know the power that they have within themselves. And a lot of people don't want uh, you know everybody to wake up to that. A lot of people be out here doing very well for themselves, abundantly, mentally, physically. So this person tried to hold on tight to these old beliefs. But this is somebody with the nine of pentacles. This is somebody that wants their independence. They seeing things from a new perspective. And they trust in their intuition. Spirit said this situation is calling for you to have faith. This is somebody that's walking away from old outdated beliefs and coming towards you. Because it's just like they don't see nobody but you. But this person know they got to move in silence because there's too many people. Yeah. With the night of swords. It's not too many people that's angry. That's angry if this person come towards you. Because this person, they feel like by this person coming towards you, it's like them going against them. And they sh it shouldn't even be like that. They shouldn't even make this person feel like that. It's not this person going against they, whatever religious factors they have. This person going within. This person knows how strong and the love and the compassion they have for you. They can't, they can't help how they feel. And people trying to keep them stuck. They don't want to be stuck. They free in their mind. Yeah, nine of one. This person is wounded. This person coming from a place where they wounded. This person could be coming from a place where they leaving family, friends. Everything they know behind to come to you. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work with you. Because they want to come in and give you this love offer. Knight of Cups. And this person was betrayed. Ten of Swords. I can't make it up. This person had to cuss people out their life. To get to the Empress. This is a connection. Period. This is a divine. This is a divine union. Okay? Whoever this person is, they are wounded, okay? They wounded because the people that they love and the things that they believed in all their life, they waking up to find out none of that was true. They found out that these people wanted to keep them slaved in their mind, to keep them stuck. Especially um Stuck from the truth and also keeping them stuck from you. Three of Pentacles. Some this person wants to come in and work with you. They want you. They want to let go of what no longer serves them. Knight of Cups. This person wants to come in and offer you a love offer. Ten of Swords. This person was very betrayed. Very betrayed. Their family could have told them, "I'm going to disown you if you go to this person because this person doesn't fit our criteria." So Queen of Swords. Somebody had to cut somebody out. To come towards the empress, the divine counterpart. Spirit. I feel like somebody also had to divorce somebody. Spirit, what's this queen of swords? Ten of swords. Maybe whoever they was connected to from the past that they let go. Maybe this person could have, yeah, betrayed them. I can't make it up. Knight of Wands. Somebody getting divorced. Maybe so. Mm. They was betrayed. Somebody was hurt. Page of Wands. I feel like somebody want to come in and tell you some type of communication. Fast communication. This person could be watching you. Spirit, what's this Page of Wands and Knight of Wands? I feel like whoever they leaving behind, somebody betrayed them. It could be family and friends. Yeah. Will of Fortune. I feel like this union between you and this person is destined. And I feel like um, spirit came through and broke something up. I feel like it was some type of karma. See, let me tell you one thing. Spirit will keep giving somebody signs and signs and signs to go towards something. Especially when they divinely guide them to go towards something. And if they don't, they don't. And they try to hold on to something so tight because they don't want to let go of it. Spirit would, would, would make something happen. Spirit would throw something in somebody's way to fuck it up, like destroy it, okay? That's what Spirit did here. That's what I'm getting. Spirit did here. Spirit would throw something in somebody's way 
If you're not listening I'm, and I'm guiding you to go, spirit will do that. Spirit gives you a lot of warnings before discretion. Spirit does. And somebody didn't want to listen. Now somebody want to listen and come towards you. Spirit is guiding this person towards you. Because whoever they was tied to wasn't the one. I feel like that person could have been about the money. Damn, Spirit said that's a damn true thing. Ooh, woo. Come through, Spirit. Come through. Come through, Spirit. Thank you. What'd I say? What did I say? Everything I said. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Ace of Swords. The world card. Close out a cycle. Somebody had to, a cycle had to end. Spirit kept warning this person over and over to come towards you. But this some, this person was trying to stay, trying to stay, um, hold on to something that um they felt like was suitable, you know, for the image. Let me just tell you something. Anything that you hold on too tight to, whether it's a person, um, a job, a lover, material, money, anything. Anything that you try to hold on too tight to, you already lost. You're going to lose it. You're never supposed to have that type of attachment to where you want to hold on to something so tight. Because the moment you feel like you got to hold on to this tight, I'm telling you, spirit will, you will lose it. You will lose it. Because that's just not how it works. The star card. Somebody sees you as a star. Somebody sees you as very healing, very loving. What did I say? I'm getting like that queen of cups. I'm getting that very nurturing, very loving. The person couldn't deny this love no more. Four of wands. Somebody sees you as somebody that they can grow a family with that's very stable, a stable foundation. A lot of abundance, a lot of a wealth together. This could be a high-level soulmate or just your twin flame, but I'm seeing soulmate. So this is a high-level soulmate. Or it could be a twin flame as well. Take the energy how it resonates to you. But I see soulmate. I feel like this is a high level soulmate. Page of Swords. This person never stopped peeking and spying on you. Somebody is watching you. They want to come in through your cups and reconcile with you. And again, what I say with the moon card and the five of wands, I feel like this person is moving in silent. And you heard that notification on my phone? Somebody is moving in secret. Because they know they got all of these people behind them that's trying to fight for them to come, um, not come from this connection, okay? This person could have been stuck before. And as we see, they were stuck because they let people get in the way. When they felt the passion, they felt the love. Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from the divine. I can't make it up. Judgment. Spirit blew the horn. Spirit blew the horn on this person. This is a gift. This relationship is a gift from the divine. Okay? Eight of Cups. Spirit told this person to walk away. Spirit, what's this Knight of Pentacles and a Chariot? Spirit, what's this Knight of Pentacles and a Chariot? Thank you, Spirit. What's this Knight of Pentacles and a Chariot? That's a lot, Spirit. Spirit gave me four cards. Mm. Five of Swords. These people from their past was manipulating them. Manipulating them. Doing hateful um, things at this connection. You know, spell work is not... I feel like I'm just keeping it very high. You know, spell work is just not all about somebody in front of candles. Spell work is somebody's tongue. You know, they, uh, they words. Spell work could be words. If a lot of people talking negative and talking down on this relationship, that's, that's spell. That spells. People need to understand that and educate themselves on, you know, there's a lot of forms of magic. A lot of people speaking down on this connection is, is spell work. But I feel like with this King of Swords, this King of Swords is speaking their truth. And with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords, maybe this person had to stand up to somebody and get a divorce. Because it was no longer working for them no more. The love and the passion that they felt about you, it was just too damn strong. The temperance. You're an earth angel. I'm hearing that this person never believed in angels until they met you. It's like you're an angel in a human body. But we know you're just a spiritual being. This person sees you as an angel. And they're not letting it go on no more. Five of Cups. 
this person is tired of crying over this connection. I'm feeling like the nine of swords and you just might have an anxiety, sleepless nights, can't sleep at night thinking about this connection. They can't stop thinking about it because all they really want to do is be with you. And it's nothing that you did wrong, Sun It was just, it was just this, pe this person trying to fit the image of what, how it will look for other people. But they knew within their heart, they weren't happy. They stayed because of how it looked. But they knew in their heart and their soul, they wanted to be with you. And it made them sad by staying. Now somebody want to come in eight of wands, fast communication. Yeah, eight of wands. But what did I say in the beginning? I felt like somebody just feeling like rejected, like rejection. Like this person feels like if they come towards you with the four of cups, somebody feels like you're going to reject them. Eight of swords, somebody is in their head. Somebody is in their head about it. Wow. 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 Okay, spirit. <laughs> That's what I said. I told y'all. So we got the eight of wands. Somebody is watching you, okay? Online somewhere. We got the page of swords. You could be online doing some type of work. Or somebody could be just pay, um, spying on your social media. But this person wants to come in and give you some type of communication. But they also feel like you're going to reject them. See, this person worrying about the three cups in front of them. And they feeling sad. They feeling down. But they're not seeing that spirit saying, listen, I gave, I'm giving you this cup. This is your judge. I'm, I'm calling judgment. Okay? Spirit is saying, I'm giving you this cup. This person not even seeing that spirit is handing them a cup in the sky. They worrying about the three cups that they lost down the bottom. Eight of swords. They in their head about it. They see you as ten of cups. You see that rainbow? That's like everything. It's like, to me, like how we see in the Oracle deck, that's the happy, happy. It's like everything you could ever imagine. Happy home. Kids happy. Whether you guys don't have kids together or not, it's like you guys combining families, going on trips together, vacating, spending time with one another, loving each other, creating generational wealth, abundance, careers, working together. Nine of Cups. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. They see you as everything. King of Cups. This person is very intuitive. This person is... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, somebody didn't want me to get that out. Somebody is listening to their intuition. They can't take it no more. It's like the emotions is running over. Look at all this water down here. It's a lot of emotions. What do we see? It's too much passion. person has too much passion for you. Five of Pentacles. Somebody know they're going to have to leave somebody out in the cold. Okay? Whether it's whoever they're divorcing or whether it's family, friends. But somebody is trying to keep them from going to what they really want. They could have said, I could just imagine the things they said about this union. King of Pentacles, he's not dealing with it no more. He's walking away. This person wants their justice. Okay? And what did I say? Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of... Mmm, it's a lot of nurture. I know you was nurturing to this person. Very loving. This is a divine counterpart. Period. This is a high level soulmate. This is definitely a high level soulmate. Spirit, what's this Eight of Cups? Um, the Hangman. Spirit, what's this Eight of Cups? The Hangman. That's a lot of cards, Spirit. Look. Look at this. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups. Somebody want to come in and invest with you. Seven of Pentacles. They want to invest with you. They only see you. It's like the love is so strong. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody want to come in and invest with you. Queen of Wands. They see you as somebody very beautiful. But it's not only... You see that, cat, that black cat in front of her? She's very highly intuitive. It's like when this person sees you, they don't just see how beautiful you are. They see how, how beautiful you are, mind, body, spirit, everything. I'm hearing that this person never believed the angels until they seen you. So, they, so you came into their life. It's like you the whole package. It's like you the whole package.
and you nurturing on top of that. But seven of wands, somebody feel like you're gonna be guarded. The lovers card. This person could be a Gemini, have Gemini in a chart, or you could be. But somebody feels like you're gonna be very guarded towards this connection. Maybe this person had a choice, which we did see in the past, and they chose to go somewhere else. But six of swords, spirit is guiding this person to come towards you. Spirit is guiding this person. Spirit had enough. I told you, spirit, anything that you hold on too tight or anything you feel like you got to hold on too tight to, you already lost. You already lost it because that's not how it's supposed to be. It's just, that's not how it's supposed to be. Spirit is guiding this person to come towards you, period. Spirit, what's this five of swords? Spirit, what's this five of swords? Yeah. Two of swords. Two of swords and six of wands. Somebody want to keep this person in their head because they know if this person, this is manipulation, family, friends, whoever they was around, whoever these people are to them that was very manipulative, hateful, vengeful, evil, saying bad things about this connection. They want to keep this person in their head indecisive, confused about going towards this six of wands. This person is you. This person who getting all the success. They wanted to keep this person from coming towards this six of wands, this empress. You could be getting a lot of attention. could be in a public eye. Whatever you do for work. Or you just could be somebody that's, you know, known. And they wanted to keep this person in their head so they wouldn't come towards the six of wands because they knew this person was going to have a lot of success. Ten of wands. They wanted this person to be bonded. Look. They wanted this person to be bonded to them. To their old beliefs. They want to keep this person like this. That is nasty. Yeah. But this person sees you. Ten of, ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants to offer you a solid new beginning. This is an offer. And this ain't no just no regular offer. You see what this person got in their hand. They got this pinnacle. They want to give to you. Okay? And these people knows that. The Magician. This person is orchestrating something to come back for you guys to come together. Could be dealing with a Gemini, or you just have Gemini in your chart. But this person is trying to manifest you guys to come back together. I can't make it up. Nine of Swords. I'm getting nine. I told you I was getting nine of Swords energy. Somebody can't sleep at night. They have an anxiety. Ace of Cups because this person wants to give you. This person wants this love offer from you. But I feel heavily that somebody feel like you're going to reject them. This person wants to come in and give you this love offer. This person loves you, Sunseeds. They love you. This is your message. Somebody really tried to stand in the way. And it's so... You heard my notification, right? Mm -mm -mm. It's so sad because whoever this person was surrounded by, they knew by you and this person coming together, it will be very successful. And they tried to slow this person down. You see with the chariot. Look at her eyes look. Look how she look tired. When this person gets to you, they're going to look tired and worn out. A lot of them probably not even going to look the same. This person had to get through a lot to get to you. Trust me. This person looked tired. All oh, this damn armor this person got on. This person was guarded because of what their family and, and, and who they were tied to. They, 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 they wanted to keep the image up. Person even got goddamn gloves on. You ain't gotta be that goddamn on. <laughs> this person was very, you know, was trying to be very protective, you know. They wanted to have their guard up because they were stuck to old outdated beliefs, things that, but it didn't serve them no more. This person knew in their heart how they felt about you. But they this, this is somebody that, that, that was worried about how other people would see them or how other people would perceive them. So they were they weren't what they thought was right. But when they got home and closed doors, all they could think about was you. All they could think about was you. Their heart craved for you. They knew they wasn't happy, but they did, you know, what was right. What they felt what was right. Maybe this person came from a household to where this person didn't have their father in, in, in their home. And maybe this person probably felt like I wanted to do the right thing for my children. Even though I'm unhappy, even though I'm suffering, you know. Maybe, I, you know, I want my children to have that. Or maybe this could be somebody that's very close to their parents or their mother or their father. And 
they just wanted to do the right things or whatever how their parents said. So if their parents was religious, it was like, you know, how, how do I tell my parents that this person um, has totally different beliefs from us? You know, my empress is very free spirit. How do I explain that to my family without being judged? And this person was scared of that. Yeah. I can't make it up. Stay optimistic. Past life relationships and true love. They knew it was true love. And I feel like with the unrequited love, I feel like that's that night of pentacles. That was that night of pentacles. That was that person. That's a, that was this person that kept going back and forth in their head. To a, to a sword. Trying to tell himself, no, this can't be the one for me. You too different. You was too different from this person. And on nationality, y'all was the same. Only difference between you, Empress, is that you was living in your truth. You ain't give a hell if you stood alone or not. You ain't give a hell if you ain't had nobody behind your back. You stood up in your truth. You stood up for yourself. And this person just didn't have the power to do it. Like how you did. But now, hopefully, that this person got, you know, got their balls. <laughs> got the balls to do it. As we see, this person is out. This person is leaving. The love is too real. The Empress, the Empress already let go of, of family, friends. Anybody that didn't believe in the Empress, she already let, her, let them go. And most likely, they ain't, they, ain't, they ain't reaching out to the Empress. They ain't trying to contact the Empress. Because they, they, ain't, they, don't, nobody don't, they ain't really rocking with the Empress. So the emperor like, why should I leave my empress alone out there when I feel the same way about her? This emperor is about to leave everybody behind. And it's going to take a lot, but this person is going to do it. Because the moment you started standing up, that's when this person stood up. Yeah. Y'all going to go, y'all going to, mm-hmm. Yeah. See, this is what the thing is. Retreat. Disconnect from the world. This emperor scenes, you do that empress. They seen you had the courage to disconnect, right? You stepped in your purpose. You knew that this emperor was your, your partner, Sun Seeds. You knew that. But you said, you know, I'm not going to stick around and wait and try to keep try to convince somebody. In the meantime, between time, you started loving yourself first. You started healing family issues. You started healing family issues. You said, you know what? My family's not going to rock with me. They're not going to believe in me. Then I have to go. I only have one life to live. Why would I live trying to please people that, that never rocked with me anyway? I see you guys having a lot of playfulness together. I see wedding. I see engagement. Damn. I got a lot going on, but it's a lot of good things. And I feel like Empress, by you stepping in your power, that's what made this person step in their power. So I love you guys. I love you, Sunsies. I just want to say in advance, congratulations, because this is a this is definitely coming together. There's nothing nobody else can do about it. Spirit called judgment, judgment and justice. Listen here, baby. <laughs> Spirit blew the horn. It is what it is. There's nothing that they could do anymore. I love you, Sun Seas. Until we get up next time. Until we get up next time. Show your girl Mystic Sunflower with some love. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. And make sure you're giving me a likey like. All right? I love you, Sun Seas. Mm -hmm.